I'm Ellen Vilmet, and I'm the chair of the Math and Computer Science Department. And one of the biggest challenges that we faced with the remote instruction that was resulting from the pandemic was student engagement. We really want our students to have a community that they can tap into and learn from and teach as they teach their own peers. And it's a challenge to do that in a, in a remote setting. And so some of the ways that we addressed that were, um, we had some instructors that decided to flip their classes. This meant that they were creating videos that their students were watching outside of the synchronous time. And their students could take notes, they could rewatch, they could pause, rewind. And then during class time, the students were working together or working with their instructor on challenging problems. Another activity that we had um, students do was work in groups on their homeworks and that allowed students to connect with each other outside of class time. We also had a couple of instructors who assigned homework videos that students created to give them some practice with their oral explanations of mathematics. Is a quadratic in Y with A equaling 1, B equaling negative 2x squared, and C equaling negative 1? A second issue that we had to deal with as a result of a pandemic learning was assessment. And we really want to make sure that we're accurately assessing our students' learning, but at the same time, make sure that we are rewarding the kinds of behavior that we want to see in students. One idea that we used that was really wonderful was oral exams. Uh, do you have any questions about the process for the oral exam? Um, so I have five minutes per problem, right? Are That's you gonna right. like just cut me off like real a hard cut off or? Uh, no, no, if you're in the middle of explaining something like- Oral exams allowed us to engage with our students on a more personal level and see what it was that they're, they were understanding about the material. We could prod students if they were struggling on an oral exam question and potentially even more accurate than a written exam. We also had to deal with placement without the same kinds of metrics that we typically use for placing students in their appropriate math courses in the fall. Jim Sauerberg did an amazing job of incorporating the data that we did have using entirely new method that he created to place students. And potentially we might not need to use standardized exams, which we have typically used in the past for placement. My department is full of such amazing, amazing professors. We have a nice community and we met every other week to talk about pedagogy and pedagogy in particular in a, a remote setting. Um, we had a Slack channel that we created where we could discuss things like assessment and oral exam rubrics. We also worked with physics. There were a couple of professors in physics in particular, Jessica Kintner and Marianne Rosario that really spearheaded um, the School of Science creating a list of standardized technologies that we wanted our students to be able to use. And I'm really proud that we were able to work together as a community in my department and in the School of Science.